to clean it, I'm gonna use it very cleaner. I like it, I always use it. It's cheap and it's do its job. Better than other parts cleaners or something like that. Of course guys, don't forget to clean the intake manifold, the top part. This one. Because if you have to block this one, uh, probably you have the bad condition in this one too. Don't forget to clean it. Everything inside, throttle body. Everything. All the flaps, AGR. Clean it, do properly. And then put it back, should be solved to your problem. So, pretty much supposed to be clean like that. You don't need to make it shiny. No. Just to clean without the dirt inside. Big pieces which can crack and plug it again. Something like this. So, we're gonna put it back. For clean it, I use this one. So, I'll put it back and we'll see how it works. This is what left. Clean it. Can you see how it's bad? So if a piece of this crack from the dirty part has definitely blocked your flap, intake flap, and you think you have the fault. So I just put everything back. The car running circuit. No engine light on the dash. How does it look fine? The engine running smooth. Uh, so in this case, the problem was dirty intake manifold. So if we have the intake manifold sensor hold. That's what we have to do, take out the intake manifold and check it. If it's clean, maybe then we have the voltage sensor, but uh, usually it's a dirty clap. I uh, hope this video will be you guys and see you next episode.